Welcome back to BC Sports Cards. I'm BC. And in today's video, we're going to look at a new product from Panini. It's 2022 Panini Capstone Blaster Boxes. Uh, they first came out with a hobby box uh, a few weeks ago, uh, or maybe a month ago or so, sometime in December. And then they did release it in a blaster box version in retail. So we're going to take a look at this today. We're going to rip two boxes of this. You can find this at Walmart uh, for about $25. And there's going to be six packs per box with five cards per pack. And we're going to be looking for one autograph or memorabilia card in each box. And also we're going to be looking for six blaster exclusive blue parallels. So you can kind of, you can't, it's hard to see it on the box there, but the icons in, uh, the name is in blue. So we'll be looking, looking for those. It'll be one per pack. Uh, these can produce some decent autographs. I've seen some people, I've heard some people open this up. And it's not difficult to get an autograph. Maybe one in every two or three or four boxes. There's no odds uh, that just says on here what you can get. So let's get into this blaster box and see what we can find. In the hobby version, I think you get two autographs and two relic cards. So, uh, and it's not too expensive. Uh, it, reta uh, it retails for like 120. So, we're gonna take a look at the the blaster box version. So, these are really nice cards. I think um, they're thicker and they have good shine to them. So, let's get into this and see what we can find. First pack up. Starting off with a Matt Olson, Josh Donaldson, Freddie Freeman, Jose Altuve. That's the blue. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Shine it that way a little bit, you can. That's the blue parallel. And the last card is a Deja Vu insert with Spencer Torkelson and Miguel Cabrera. So that's a nice card. It's got the rookie emblem on there for Torkelson. So that's a decent one. All right. Next pack up. Hope you guys are doing good today. All right, so we've got uh, Manny Machado, Jose Abreu, Nick Allen, and that's got a kind of a texture. I think those are luxury suite is what those are called. I think those are numbered in the hundreds, uh, 100 to 200. I believe those are that. that. Um, Robert Suarez on the blue and then an Anthony Rizzo Big Bang that's a pretty sweet card I like that one a lot alright let's see if we can get us a big rookie here all the big rookies are in this that were in a lot of the late 22 products uh, Julio Rodriguez Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, Yadier Molina Camilo Duvall and we've got, this is an autograph, look at that. And that's a cubby, Manuel Rodriguez. That is sweet. I like that one a lot. And that's the crown parallel or insert autograph. So we'll definitely take an autograph in the first box here. So we'll put that right there. I like that one a lot. I think it's got his number on there too. Pretty cool. We'll take that. Alec Bone on the blue and a velo insert of Walker Bueller. All right, halfway through the box. So it's pretty nice to, to buy a blaster box at basically $25 and hit an autograph. Louis Hill, Chris Bryant, Taylor Rogers, and the blue is Roanzi Contreras. And we have a new age insert of O'Neill Cruz. So that's a pretty sweet one too. I don't think that has the rookie card emblem on it though, but still a nice card. Two more packs to go. Tell me what you think of these cards. I mean, you can see the stock on them is really thick. So it's really nice. And then of course it's got the refractor shine to it. It's really nice. Key Brian Hayes, Dylan Cease, 
Jose Altuve. In the blue is Bryce Harper. And a summit insert of Bryce Harper. So two Bryce Harpers in a row. All right, last pack in the first box. We have Robert Suarez. Alec Bohm. That's just the base. Erwanzi Contreras base. And the blue is a J.P. Crawford. And the last card is a, a insert. That's the crest of Shohei Otani. So that's pretty sweet right there. Put that in the good pile. All right, so not too bad on that. Didn't hit too many good rookies, but we did hit the autograph, so that's really nice. Let's see what we can get in the second box here. Let me know in the comments if, if you all have ripped any of this, found it at Walmart, what you think of it. It's not going to have a ton of value on the resale market, but it's just really cool. It's a fun rip. I would recommend it. All right, here we go. First pack up. Let's see if we can get a J-Rod this time. Jordan Romano. Juan Moncada. Mookie Betts Blue, and that's the Luxury Suite. You can see the... It's kind of textured a little bit. And then, did we get two blues in that one? That's not numbered, that's kind of weird. I think those are two blue blues in there, so that's pretty neat. Uh, that's a Yadier Molina. And then the Deja Vu of Aaron Judge. I might know, uh, well it's the Deja Vu with Judge and Dave Winfield. I think I know a guy that might be interested in that card. And put him up there. Any Aaron Judge card is a good card. All right, second pack. Thomas Zapucky, Matt Brash, Jordan Alvarez. The blue is Camilo Doval, and a new age, Dylan Carlson. Not sure where the. Doubtful we get another autograph in this in this box, but we might. But we should get a mem card, so hopefully it, it'll be a, a good rookie. Jose Miranda. Hunter Green, that's a nice rookie. And we did get a mem card. That is of Rodolfo Castro. So still pretty neat. It's kind of got a different shape there, and they put it kind of on the leg, um, the cloth patch. So that's pretty neat. Uh, another Luis Hill on the blue. And a Velo of Mackenzie Gore. I like that one a lot. We'll put that in the good pile. All right, halfway through, three more packs to go. We have Kyle Muller. Byron Buxton. Greg Dykeman, or Diekman, not sure which how it's pronounced. And a Chris Bryant on the blue. And a Wander Franco. That's the crest. So that is a sweet card right there. That is pretty nice. I do like that one a lot. Hopefully he has a better year in 2023. He was hurt a lot in 2022. Did not live up to expectations, that's for sure. All right. Liam Hendricks. Joan Duran. Austin Hayes. Key Brian Hayes on the blue, and a summit of Corey Seager. Last pack. Let's see if we can get a Julio or a Bobby Witt in this one. All right. Joe Musgrove, Jeff McNeil, and there we go. There's Julio. He did come out and play. Look at that. It's just a base, but still. Julio is, is the big draw of any late 2022 product. So we will put that up next to the auto here. It's very nice. All right. Uh, last two cards, Dylan Cease on the blue. And a new age of Jeremy Pena. So finished off, that was a pretty good last pack. 
So we will take that for sure. Uh, didn't hit my boy Seiya Suzuki, but we'll find him another day. So as a recap, just some of the nice cards that we got here. We got the Jeremy Pena New Age, the Mackenzie Gore Velo, the Shohei Otani on the Crest, a New Age of O'Neill Cruz, the Deja Vu of Spencer uh, Torkelson and Miguel Cabrera, the Castro Relic and the Hunter Green rookie card. And then probably the nicest cards, these four right here, the Wander Franco Crest, the Aaron Judge Deja Vu with Dave Winfield, the Julio rookie card, and then the uh, Manuel Rodriguez. Not a big name auto, but still an autograph out of a retail product, so that's always nice to get. So tell me what you think in the comments. Um, what was your favorite card of, of the opening? Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hadn't subscribed. And you can hit that notification bell and you'll be notified every time that I upload a video to the channel. So thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you on the next video. Have a good evening.